Today let us see about trauma from occlusion. In general when you consider periodontium it has a cushion like effect to the occlusal forces exerted on the tooth. Its main function is to accommodate the tooth to the occlusal forces. But when occlusal forces exceed the adaptive capacity of the tissue periodontal tissue trauma from occlusion results. This tissue injury is known as trauma from occlusion whereas the occlusal forces are known as traumatic occlusion the direction of the force the amount of force can also be responsible for this trauma from occlusion the tfo can be classified into acute and chronic in acute tfo we have an abrupt occlusal impact such as biting on a seed for example in chronic we have gradual changes in occlusion it is more commonly seen in clinical setup than um, acute for example bruxism like changes this trauma from occlusion can also be classified as primary and secondary as we already saw there are two components one is the occlusal forces another is the periodontium which are responsible for tfo in primary tfo there is alteration in the occlusal forces that is the periodontium is almost normal whereas in secondary just the opposite occurs that is in secondary tfo the periodontium is compromised even for normal occlusal forces we have excessive trauma so the point to remember is in secondary tfo the adaptive capacity of the periodontium is impaired like in periodontitis therefore to sum summarize it the problem is with the occlusal forces in primary whereas the problem is with the periodontium in the secondary tfo in this video we saw an introduction on tfo in the next video we'll see about the stages and clinical features